Actually, there's nothing in Anchorage unless you want to be outside. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Walk past downtown. I um, saw a tourism office, like an Anchorage tourism office, and inside they had a poster of Mexico. Up there. It's like, yeah, we know you made it to Anchorage, but it's not too late to fix that. <laughs> there's other places. So I'm on a cleanse right now, and um, it's not going great. Um, <laughs> it's uh, I wasn't prepared for a cleanse. I didn't know like what would it, what would like. I got to give up everything I like. Apparently, cleanses are apparently where you write down everything that you love to eat, and then you eat the opposite of that. So it's just, it's like, oh, I'm gonna live on kale for a month. Oh, I don't know. Have you seen Have you seen scanners? That's my brain right now. That's a uh, doesn't feel great. But um, like in like the book, it also said. You know, you gotta, in order for this cleanse to work, you also need to have a positive attitude or else your digestive system will not clear itself out of all the bad stuff. And I don't know if you've ever met me, but that's not something I'm able to do. <laughs> I don't have a, a, a cheery de uh, deposition, I guess. It's a disposition. I like deposition. I'm more of a guy, you know. My attitude's on trial, and it's a, <laughs> like my brain, like the little voice inside is basically sounds like Werner Herzog narrating a depressing documentary, you know, it's just like, man is doomed to die, <laughs> machine will rule us all, <laughs> that's about it, oh well. But um, I did have fun last year, went to Ireland, traveled, got the hell out of here, get a chance to go ahead and do that. Feels good to be more smug than your friends. Yes, I visited Europe. Where do you think I got this scarf? Eh. Oh, man, I'm gonna put this down. I just, I can't, I can't. I, 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 I'm a motive. I need to flail my arm around a lot. Um, now I went to Ireland this, uh, last year. I learned a few things over there. First thing, uh, when you go to a bar, um, just go ahead and do not order the Irish car bomb. Um, nobody likes that. It's like going to New York and go, yeah, I'd like one 9 please. Do you have uh, <laughs> two shots set on fire? Do you have a national tragedy back there at all? So. Other thing I learned, um, I learned that Ireland apparently has a bit of trouble with racism. Who knew? Because I don't know if you know this about Ireland, but it's filled with Irish people, <laughs> you know? Like nothing else. Like they had posters all over the place that said, hey, be nice to all races and black people, you know? and is more eloquent, but you get the idea. And I only saw like one black guy there, and he was confused also. He was like, well, I know I don't belong here. Also, just play cool, everybody. I kind of think he was the one hanging up the posters, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but he couldn't say, be nice to Chad. He had to go take a picture with it. Third thing I learned, I learned a little bit about my, uh, my family history, the old roots. Um, I was over there for a wedding because uh, my cousin's getting married, and it was really nice. He planned it, so he got married in the exact same church that my great-great-great-grandfather um, started at then, so that's really nice. It's cute. It's cute. But, um, but I learned about my last name. Last name is Burgoon, and uh, forever I didn't know what it meant. I didn't care to because it sounded like just somebody vomited at Ellis Island and they wrote that down. But it turns out there's actually a history behind it. There's a stew over there called Burgoo Stew, and what that is, is millet and squirrel tail. So, oh, it's just good to know that my family's been white trash for like 10,000 years. It's, but, like our family crest is apparently just a tipped over bottle of whiskey and like a child dead from the pox. It's just something in Latin that says it gets worse. That's, uh, so it's just, I don't know, I was upset, you know, because Burgoo stew sounds like the meal you eat after you're done eating your shoes. It's just like, fuck, there's nothing else. That's how uh, these squirrel tails to use. But, you know, I thought about it, and I thought, um, you know, this stew probably kept my family alive, you know, through thin and thinner and probably thinnest. And so I think, you know, I'm going to honor that tradition, but it's something that keeps me alive. So my new name is Matthew uh, Gas Station Hot Dog, and it's a... Uh, <laughs> My girlfriend Matthew gas station hot dog hyphen hot pocket. It's, a, it's wordy, but you know it's tradition. Um, God, I got hit on recently. Feels good. Sitting in my car when it happened. Feels less good. Um, I wasn't expecting it. It was a. 
out of, out of the blue hitting on. And um, this is what happened. I was just got done with work, late at night, sitting in my car, dark out, and I was just listening to some tunes before I go inside. And I saw this guy just kind of walk past, you know, just, just, just walking past, kind of looking inside. I was like, all right, whatever. And then I saw him walk past again, but this time, full of creep, you know, and you're just like, what's happening there, buddy? What's happening? And then he disappeared again, so I'm like, shit. So, you know, lock the doors. And this time, he just, he walks past again, but this time he like stops behind the car and like a pose where it's like, it's gonna be tough to tip me over. So, be prepared. And so then he walked up to my window and he knocked on it and I rolled it down, he was white, and um... <laughs> He was like, hey, you're not busy. You want to get in the back seat and you know, give each other hand jobs? <laughs> I, I almost said yes because he said it's so nonchalant. I was like, oh, this isn't a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> like, people have asked me, do you want chicken wings? With like more anger in their voice, you know? <laughs> I love that because if it works once, like, he's a genius, you know? <laughs> because he's just going from car to car, <laughs> scaring men one by one, until one person goes, you know what, thank God you're here. I would love a hand job, you know? <laughs> it's, a, it's the type of, like, mentality that built Microsoft, so it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sitting at home watching Top Chef going, when was the last time I touched my dick? You know, it's just, <laughs> I need something there. Oh, well, I'm gonna leave you guys uh, with this thought. I need to get a better job, um, you know, they'll actually pay the bills. Apparently my landlord's not taking drink tickets anymore, so I, need to, <laughs> I also need to get, get a better job so I can get like a cool girlfriend, I think. And I think women like the idea of like a man who's a little bit dangerous at his job, or you know, just dangerous in general. Not like, where's the meatloaf dangerous, you know, but oh, he's an accountant that drives a motorcycle. Oh, you know. So I think, you know, the perfect job, Nazi hunter. It's just Nazi. I could kill a Nazi and not even get a parking ticket for it. It's great. But it turns out women don't like the idea of me going to the nursing homes and smothering old men in their sleep. So I have to find a new job. All right. My name is Matt. Thank you.